you guys came here from the fish room again um, so today we're doing a slightly different video than normal we are doing it what not to do with your filter video uh, that's right what not to do with your filter um, so very soon I'm going to show you a video of my six foot tank uh, it's got a few bigger fish in it but nothing too drastic uh, it's always had two canvas filters running on it so the other day I noticed that there was a bit of a film going on on the top of the surface I knew that it was because the water movement slowed right down and I knew that uh, one of the filters was clogged. So when I say the other day, I mean probably two weeks ago. So I finally found some time to open it up, clean it out today, and it's an absolute disgust. And to be completely honest, I'm actually quite appalled at myself for letting it get that bad. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you basically what not to do, uh, how not to clean your filter out, um, and I'm going to do something that I completely advise against. I'm actually going to clean up the hose. I believe I'm going to restart. The cycle on the tank on the filter sorry because it is so bad take into account that i've actually got two filters going on it and very few fish won't be too bad um, and i'll probably add some some bacteria to the aquarium as well just to help that along a little bit all right guys if you like what we're doing please subscribe please like the video um, and yeah if you want to see some stuff definitely let us know other than that i hope you enjoy this video catch you later have a good one Alright, so as I said, I was going to do a very brief video of the aquarium itself. So it's 1800 on, so 6 foot by about 600 by about 600. Um, so I've got two filters on it, both Eheims, that one, and the one that I've already taken the head off with and it's sitting outside already waiting to be cleaned up for the next part of the video. Um, so as you can see, there's actually not a lot of fish in here. Not be able to. No, they're all sitting at the back. There's literally nothing but fish substrate and water in here. So there's uh, four or five waru and four or five necrogensis. There's one there. Uh, yeah, so like I said, they're not not ginormous fish, but they're definitely not small fish. Um, two filters is probably overkill for what, for what it is that's actually in here. Um, but I've got two running. There's always two cycles, and I think uh, this little fella down here is going to be used on a new project fairly soon anyway, so you know it's handy to have it up and running. Alright, so we'll uh, get on to the actual cleaning and I'll show you my absolutely filthy, disgusting filter that I'm absolutely poured in. Alright, so like I said, it's pretty gross and pretty putrid. I'm pretty disgusted at myself. I'm literally just going to clean it with a hose. That's just rancid. That's not very good of me at all. It looks like a filthy, gross, dirt mix. It's not okay. It's not acceptable. So that's the carbon. I'm just going to get rid of that. So I managed to dig about halfway through. And uh, pipe. I'm packed in bad. It's real bad. So I'm just going to chuck it all in a bucket, clean out in the bucket, and recycle the thing, I think. Pretty bad. Like I was saying, here's the filter wall. It's not the worst I've seen, but it's not the best. Should have been cleaned out a long time ago. You can see that grossness. So I'm going to pour it all into a bucket. Not even coming out. Not even close to coming out. That I do not recommend using a garden hose or fresh water to clean a filter. Not a good idea for all the bacteria, but I'm going to recycle this one and start again. Still can't get it all out. Oh, 
sure why the video cut off before. I'm just going along with my camera. It's all right. Oh, I found something. It's not okay. It's yuck. Bad camera. I've got these woods now. This is definitely the worst that I've left the filter. I will not be doing it again. Got regular water changes, just didn't get regular filter cleans. I'm not sure I remember the last time I cleaned up this filter. Finally got to the bottom. Coming out of here. It'll take overly long for it to. There you go. Yep. Alright, I'm going to leave it this and I'm going to clean this up. And I'll uh, shoot the video once it's up and running again. Don't do what I've done. Clean your filters out, it's not, not okay. Alright, so we're back in here with the filter of neglect. And as you can see, she's absolutely cranking now. Uh, beforehand, uh, it was probably, no, probably is about it, it was about, I don't know, a dribble of that. It was, it was pretty bad. Almost like you only just left your tap on in the bathroom or something like that. It was, it was pretty bad. I have to apologise to my fish, but we're away laughing now. We're going tickety boo. Um, so it took me four, five, five full buckets to wash it out to get it away from a dark colour and to get it kind of transparent. Uh, it was pretty gross, it was pretty bad. So I've cleaned it out with fresh water. Um, you can actually see through it now, which is incredible, and there is now that much filter wool on top of it. Um, and it's going pretty well, so I'll put a few new clips on it, I'm brought one on the way. I'm going to chuck a clip onto the uh, filter itself. Uh, but I think we're good to go now. And I make I will make sure that I never ever do that to my filter again. It's lucky I didn't lose any fish in that time. I did say probably because I had a second filter running. So there you go, that's not what to not do with your filter. It's uh, any filter, canister, internal. Uh, sponge filter sump, never ever let it get that bad and never ever do I ever recommend cleaning it up with water, fresh water like I did. Um, I've chucked some prime in here and I'm going to um, get some bacteria from the shop as well this afternoon chucked it in there with it. Alright guys, I will leave you with it. Have a good one, happy fish keeping. Rightio, so to continue to go with our Friday special after our YouTube video Today, for this weekend, we're going to chuck 25% off all filter filters, 25% off all filter material, filter media, um, and we'll knock 25% off all bottled bacteria as well. So all you got to do is come in with your stuff in the shop and say, Cam, you're an absolute idiot. And all you got to do is the same thing on the, on the website. I'm going to put in the code IDIOT25 and you'll get yourself 25% off filters, filter media, and bottled bacteria. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you're having a really good day. Um, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe, uh, give the video a like, or chuck a comment in the comment section. Um, other than that, I hope you have a good day, and happy fish keeping. Catch you later.